welcome to our Digital Economy Hub. I'm Mohamed Ayoub, a Senior Manager at our William Buck Brisbane office, and today I'm going to talk about business continuity and disaster recovery planning. So what is it all about? So disasters recur, occur every so often and take us by surprise. Uh, it's these times that businesses need to act fast to ensure critical services continue to be offered to customers. Not only is continuity of business in the short term important, but if the scenario is not dealt with properly, the business may not be able to recover and operate in the future. Business continuity and disaster recovery planning allows a business to be prepared for interruptions to businesses. Uh, the BCP sets out a plan of action uh, in the event of disaster or interruption uh, and how the organization will continue to work through the challenge and recover from it. So why is it important? It's important to note that this affects all types of businesses, whether startups or large multinationals. Uh, some companies prepare BCP for the sake of ticking the box. It sits on a shelf, collects dust, and the time comes to use it, no one even knows where it is or that it even existed. Um, it's one of those things we say, oh, we'll get to doing that eventually, or we may only need it once in a lifetime, so we'll take our chances. Uh, the reality is we live in a world where anything can happen suddenly with no warning, right? So this year has been a crazy one with bushfires followed by a global pandemic, left our streets empty for weeks and months on end. So eight months down the line, we still haven't fully recovered from the impacts uh, and will likely be a long time before things return to normal. And that is if they ever do. Uh, so only when we're faced with these types of challenges do we then wish that we had something in place to help us get through it. So I guess the next thing is, well, where do we start? So, so a business continuity plan focuses on identifying the critical infrastructure resources that a business needs for survival. It helps organizations prioritize the functions of strategic importance. So identify what the critical business uh, functions are. For example, HR needs to process payroll. Sales will say that the CRM is of most importance to generate business. It's things that run in the background as well, like the continuous backup that the IT department does. Um, then we analyze how the business is exposed to threats and identify the controls that are in place to mitigate these. For instance, what if we do? What do we do if an earthquake hits us? Do we have access to a separate site? These are often referred to as cold, warm, or hot sites, depending on how long it takes to get them up and running. Uh, you know, maybe we'd operate from there in the interim. So using these what-if scenarios helps us to think about what exactly we need to respond to the challenge. We then go on and develop a business continuity policy, which is at a high level, I guess, the approach uh, to develop uh, and maintain an effective framework for business continuity disaster recovery. Um, then we develop the actual plan itself. And this combines all of the above into a central plan to prepare for events and exactly what needs to be done during these events. Um, it also provides information and steps uh, on how the business goes about recovering from the disaster. Uh, it's very important to make your staff aware of the BCP and to annually test it as well. So I often get asked, what's the critical in ensuring a BCP is a success? Uh, and I think it's good to remember that a business is not static. It's constantly evolving. You know, businesses continue to grow or they might pivot to, gain, uh, to maintain their competitive advantage. Um, so the pre preparation of a BCP doesn't stop on the completion of a document. Um, it's a living thing that needs to be updated regularly and tested to make sure it works and is still relevant. Uh, so a key point there is the awareness. Uh, everybody has a role to play in getting the business back up to its feet, so they need to be aware it exists. It needs to be tested regularly as well, but how? Um, it hinges on seeing how this works so we can learn from our mistakes. Um, you know, it might be it might be a case of getting a simulation done, for example, when your executives meet at their next meeting, you know, present them with a scenario uh, and see how they would deal at. How would they roll out the BCP to manage the simulated event you've given them? Um, for example, if it's a part of your strategy to have an off-site um, uh, facility uh, with up and running within four hours of an event, go and test that and make sure that facility is able to be um, up and running in four hours. Perhaps the events of 2020 serve as a timely reminder of how important having a plan of action is to tackle the obstacles life throws our way. Don't wait until it's too late to start preparing for life's next interruption. Use this year's events as a motivation to be prepared for what's to come in the future.
Thank you so much for listening today. Uh, be sure to check out our hub for other articles and podcasts.